Hey folks, so I've got another video here for you and I found an article dated the 12th of January. So it's dated before the announcement that RAF Linton R News was going to be turned into a migrant hub. So bearing in mind this was an RAF base from the 1930s. There was a thriving community there. RAF men and women were based, they had their families, their children, and they had their children in school, there was a little hospital, a village store, and so on. They had a life here, and the MOD decided to close it all down. As we know, it's now going to be a migrant hub. But this article gives a little bit more insight into the people that lived there before it's going to be turned into a migrant hub. So I'm going to read on. So the 12th of January 2022, so not that long ago, a whole estate of 56 houses will be totally, were left totally abandoned in just over a month's time. Okay, so there's some of the housing there. So nobody is left on the site in Linton Meadow where 20 family homes stand completely empty. A quaint North Yorkshire village has been turned into a ghost town following the closure of Linton Anu's RAF base. Primary school numbers have dropped by half and one estate of 56 houses, Linton Meadow, will be left completely abandoned. The Linton Anu's relationship with the armed forces stretches back to 1937 and one mum of two who wish to be unnamed, has told Yorkshire Live how unsettling the upheaval has been to people's lives, with families having to uproot and leave friends behind, while they also move their children to new schools. So I'm looking at the human cost of this to our own people, let alone the migrants coming in. This is the human cost to our people, and not only our people, our people who fought for this country. The people that we should be looking after are elderly, are disabled and our armed forces and the veterans that have fought for this country. As you can see, I'm very angry about this. I'll read on. Her family, the last to leave a 20 property street on Linton Meadows estate, even asked if they could buy the home they were being evicted from. They've evicted everybody because they're closing the base. But that request was rejected. All the houses being transferred back from the Ministry of Defence to Annington Homes on the 9th of February. The family has since been relocated to another house 100 miles away, but have been told that they will also need to hand the keys back on that property to the MOD in a year's time. So they've been thrown out of their family home the kids have been taken from school. They've been given another home a hundred miles away for a year. So basically, here's a year to up, uproot your family. We're going to move you again. And then after a year, tough titty, you're out. Nowhere. So it goes on. The upset woman said, we were the last ones to leave the little cul-de-sac in Linton Meadow. We were there on our own for about a month and it wasn't very nice. Felt like the man in the film up where he stayed in his house and all this building was going on around him. There were so many contractors doing things to houses. It did feel very uneasy. September, October, November was a very real unsettled time. I don't want to move the children's school. We've got medical care, both for myself and my daughter at the local hospital. We didn't want to move. So there's there's a house. So as we now know what this is going to become. So there's been nothing left in the homes. So they've kicked out these people. Now, this is what is even more sickening, if that were possible is that they closed down the base. They're not even letting these people stay. They're not even letting them buy the homes. This is how fucked up this is. Again, I don't usually swear, 
But as you can see, I'm very passionate about this. So apologies for the language. So a, a total of 160 homes in the village were sub sublet by the MOD from Annington Homes. So I'll be doing a follow up video and looking into this Annington Homes a little bit more closely. Never heard of them. Don't know anything about them. But let's have a little nosy and see in the next video. So I'll just read on. The future of the remaining 104 homes, which includes 84 on the military base itself, remains uncertain. Oh, they knew. They knew. Oh, they, they knew. All right. And the majority of them could stand empty for at least another 12 months. No, they won't. With some residents admitting it has left parts of Linton on Ouse feeling like a ghost town. This is particularly frustrating for those who don't want to leave the area, with another anonymous mother saying we want to settle. One of these properties will be a perfect choice for us. We've got friends in the village. It's not far for me to commute to work. My husband actually went direct to Annington and said, to save us moving, can we buy the property from yourselves? They just said, we can't. They knew exactly what was going on. This has been planned for some time. The base closed in October 2020. I believe that they knew then. They knew exactly what they were doing. So it says here, a last ditch bid to save RAF Linton and Ouse from closure failed. So there was actually an attempt to close it. I just want them to be a little bit more open. <laughs> Treat us like humans. We all have feelings. The primary school head teacher branded the empty homes a waste and called for more specific time frames and when they would be reoccupied. We we need to plan for the future in the coming months. Should these houses become populated, we want to be able to accommodate children in the village school. So uh, good luck with that, love, because um, you need to learn to speak Punjab or Arabic or whatever language they'll be speaking. What do you think of this? To me, this is even more sickening than, than yesterday's story. These people are our people and they're being made homeless so that we can take in people from third world. When, where does it end? We're a tiny island with nearly 70 million, maybe more, because half of them are illegal and don't even know about sinking this little island. We'll be jumping off cliffs soon. Where does it end? Anyway, what do you think? Let me know in the comment section. I think I know what you'll say. Though we did have a lefty come in yesterday calling me a hate preacher. But unfortunately, I couldn't pin the comment because YouTube deleted it. So if that was you, please come again. Anyway, take care and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.